Namaste. 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 Welcome, friends. We want to welcome you. We just welcomed you in Indian, but we are so glad that you joined us here today for another 3 ABN Today cooking program. My name is Jill Morricone, and with me is a wonderful special guest. I'm speaking of Padma Medidi, and welcome, Padma. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. I'm just so excited to be here, as always. It's just delightful to be here at 3 ABN. I want to thank 3 ABN for giving me this opportunity to share my gift of, you know, the beautiful, healthful, nutritious, delicious Indian dishes. Amen, absolutely. Padma has been here before. We love it when she comes here. It's such a joy. Um, we've cooked together before, and the food is delicious and fabulous. She knows from an authentic way how to make the food, and we always love it. But not only that, Padma, you sing, and you do some cooking schools and all this. So tell us just a little bit about your ministry there, you and your husband in Florida. Yes, well, I do have a music video mm -hmm. that I did give my testimony here at 3ABN, which is really wonderful, and a lot of people are being reached. And we have a graphic of that. It's called Petals of Love. Petals here. of Love, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and now I have free audio and video downloads on my website, which is Sweet Soothing Music. Everybody, anybody can just go there and just download the music. Amen. You know, and it's been a blessing for many, many different countries. People have watched my testimony and called me from Poland, South Africa, Australia, Nigeria. I mean, you name it. Just recently, a, a nice gentleman from France, Aww, you know, contacted me and wonderful. he wanted music. So it's been right. such a blessing for me. Cooking, of course, I love to cook too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because here we're doing a cooking program here today. But and you love cooking, and we love to eat your food. That is for sure. <laughs> but and you're going here in a few in a few weeks or a few months. You're going to go do a whole cooking school in is it Trinidad? In Trinidad, Trinidad. yes. One of the pastors, our Adventist mm -hmm. pastor, in fact, invited me to come there, and do like one week. Mm -hmm. so that they can air it through the entire year. So Amen. I'll be doing several vegetarian recipes mm -hmm. in Trinidad. Amen. So I'm all excited. Amen. <laughs> and Padma brought me a sari to wear on the show. So and it looks you gorgeous so on you. You look beautiful, just like an Indian model. <laughs> <laughs> It's very fun. It's my very first time to wear a sari. So she's instructed me on how to wear it, and it's beautiful. So and, and it's so and much it's, it just looks beautiful on you. Yeah, and we kind of match, so that's fun. Today we're doing Indian, all authentic Indian dishes. Let's take a look at all those recipes that we'll be making. We're going to start with mung beans. Yes, mm. sautéed mung beans. Wonderful. They look good. I can't wait to try them and see how they are. <laughs> and then vegetable. Palau. Palau. Yes, that's rice and vegetables. Rice and vegetables, okay, thank you. <laughs> it sure looks good. Cauliflower and potato curry. Yes, that kind of goes with the rice and vegetables. Mm -hmm. We gotta have curry. We've curry got the rice, it. we gotta Absolutely. have the curry. Yes, it tastes really good. Yes, spicy spinach and tofu. Yes, and that's a great combination with the rice too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yummy. Cabbage and mung dal. Yes, it's a rare it. combination, but it tastes just delicious. Oh. I know when I make it, you'll try it and you'll love it. Oh yeah, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> and then, oh, this is a cream of wheat breakfast. How yes, it's that? called upma. Upma? Yes, it's upma. just, uh, you know, breakfast that we do. Nice. Traditional, you okay. know, it's just delicious. You know, you've never tried cream of wheat in this way. No, because usually if I have cream of wheat, it would be sweet. So this is wonderful, yeah. Okay, let's read our first recipe there. For the mung bean saute. For step one, you need one cup dry mung beans. Step two, one cup soaked mung beans. One to two teaspoons oil. One quarter teaspoon mustard seeds. One quarter teaspoon cumin seeds. One quarter teaspoon orid dal. Two to four green chilies chopped. Three to four curry leaves. Step three, we need chopped tomatoes, a quarter cup or more. Onions that are chopped, one tablespoon or more. One to three teaspoons of fresh lime juice and salt. Very good. Yummy. Now, this is the mung beans. This is just the dry mung beans. Okay. And this is available in all the health food stores everywhere. All I did was just soaked it. 
six to eight hours. You know, for so me it's overnight. very overnight. It's very convenient for me overnight. I just soak it. It's ready next day to prepare it whenever you want to. So this one is the soaked mung beans. I can see. Yes. And if you do, this is six to eight hours. And this is, I just sprouted some of them just so that, you know, our viewers Aww. can just look at it and see these are excellent. And here's the sprouted ones. Yes. And they're very highly nutritious, you know, very high fiber, high protein in mung beans. So I just wanted to show you also sprouts. You can use it either curry or you can use it just in salad. Nice. Okay. okay. So here now that we have this, I'm just doing one cup. And I'm okay. just, I have already here water, water boiling. boiling. So I'm just going to put one cup in there and let it boil. Okay. And we'll just add a little bit of salt. So you soak them overnight, then overnight. you put the mung beans in the water with salt, and that's it. And just uh, maybe, you know, we just let it cook for about five minutes. Okay. Or ten minutes. Okay. And they'll just get, you know, really soft. And then we just need to um, strain the water out. Okay. And then we'll have ready to saute. Nice. Okay. But it's just so full of nutrition. This is very high quality protein. The mung beans are. The mung beans. Okay. You know, and now because it's so high in fiber and protein, just, you know, foods like this, they just help us to achieve and maintain healthy weight. Nice. And also, okay. and also, you know, lowers the cholesterol, serum cholesterol concentration, Correct. and also lowers the risk of heart disease. So do you see how wonderful health benefits that we have in mung beans? And this is available in all the food stores, just regular stores. It's amazing to me because that's what God naturally puts within the foods that we eat. You know, you're eating certain foods and when we eat it, that then we can lower the cholesterol. You know, you can improve that. You can maintain that body weight and all of that. So that's Ye wonderful. Yes, yes, you know, so that's what, what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just, we'll just pretend this is already okay. cooked. <laughs> we pretend our <laughs> because, five minutes is up. <laughs> yes, because, you know, as you can see, do you see it's already starting to boil? I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. Well, I can, well, I can just put it here. You want to drain it there? We'll drain it there then, okay. I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. You got it. You can just leave it there, because I'll just put this pan on, so we'll oh, be okay. ready to. okay, so we want the fire still on. Yeah. There. Figure out what we're doing here. <laughs> All right, this will start to heat up here. And Padma is a nurse, and that's really neat. All the nutritional information that she shares, um, she gets a lot of that from that nursing background, as well as her husband's a doctor, and he's here helping you, Padma, and that's such a blessing to have him here, um, working in the kitchen and helping her so much with the food. So it's always a joy when they come in, not only with the music, but with the food, because then we get to eat this authentic Indian food, and so that's a real blessing. Well, it is truly a blessing. I have to thank my husband for <laughs> coming all the way and helping me. I couldn't do this just by yeah, myself. There's no, no That's way. Right. It's a big job. <laughs> it okay. is a big job. Now that we have all this mm -hmm. here, they're boiled and ready. You just have to make sure they're cooked. You know, we, we, you can taste it and tell. Now, we just pretend that we just didn't let it cook very long. But, you know, that's what we'll do. Now, first, what I'm going to do, we're just going to saute this. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'm just going to add the oil. Let it heat up a little bit. Okay. And do you want the fire on hotter, or is that warm enough? It's kind of a medium. We can turn it up if you want. Oh. It's the other way. Good. There you go. Yeah, that's all the way. Okay, now we can just add. We'll just pretend it's hot. Yeah. And you just first put the mustard seeds. Nice. Now, with mustard seed, is this normal you would use in all yes, your cooking? Yes, for the vegetarian. Okay. Mostly vegetarian cooking. We use mustard seed, cumin seeds. As you can see, these are all whole. Yes. Now, why and do you like the whole? The flavor's flavor. better? Flavor. Okay. This is for the vegetable. You okay. know, for certain, certain dishes, we powder them. Okay. But for this, we are just using. And I'll just let that saute. You just have to let the mustard seeds start popping. Oh. Oh, okay. Before I put the wet ingredients. Right. Now I have chilies and curry leaves. Nice. That's going to give a good flavor. And chilies. Mm -mm -mm. That's all there is. Ah, that is easy. Do you want the beans here? Yes.
Okay. I think you can reduce the heat here. <laughs> We're really going to town. <laughs> you just sprinkle a little salt. And you just saute this just two to three minutes. We just want all the ingredients to mix together. Okay. You know? So you just do this just for a couple. Do you see how quick that was? It was. Simple. If you have it already boiled, it just takes you a couple of minutes. Right. To saute it, and this keeps very well. Now, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to turn this off. Okay, we'll pretend our couple minutes is up here. Yes. Now, see, as you can see, this stays very well in the fridge for days. Okay. You can make a whole batch for a week or, you know, just a few days, and this really, really, for lunch, you can take it for anything. This is, as, I, as you can see, very high in protein. I'll use this dish. Oh, okay, sorry. There you go. And good. usually, I'm going to go now to step three, but I'll wait till this usually cools. But since we don't have time, I'll just show it to you how we're how we're going to do. But that step number three is optional. Okay. So you wouldn't have to. You could just eat it like this. You wouldn't you have could. to. This is dish. delicious. Believe you me. I give this for lunch to my husband every time. I do the same with chickpeas. Last yeah. time I showed the chickpeas. I remember. And now we are doing mung beans. Yeah. So this this one you can take it to lunch. You don't even need to add any of this. But this is even much more nutrition if you want mm -hmm. to add. Like this is fresh, chopped tomatoes. Yes. I just since we have only one cup, you know, I just added. Just a I'm small adding amount. just a small amount. Right. Don't cut them too big. They have to be small so that it'll, you know, go really well. Right, because the mung beans are small. Small, so yes, I don't want them. <laughs> and see, I just have a very small amount of um, of the onions. Onions here, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to put very little chili. I'm not not going to put too much. I know three Abian staff cannot <laughs> have too much chili. <laughs> so. Here, we'll mix that, and I'm just going to put a little bit of oh, lime. Oh, nice. This is fresh squeezed lime I love lime fresh juice. lime Yes. Juice. Lime juice. I, I like to just put that and sprinkle a little bit salt okay. here since we did this. Nice. So that's really easy. You just soak the mung beans overnight, then boil them five minutes the next day, and just saute just a few minutes, and that's it. I love that. And just add this. And we have one that's all done. You can yes. see the final product there. And, and see, okay. because if we add tomatoes and onions, it doesn't keep. Right. So that's why I didn't add tomatoes for that. But usually we can eat that. But this is how yes. it looks. Shall I put some in yes, there? Yes, I'm going to try some. Yummy. This is the best part. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, don't take a bite mm. of the chili, though. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> that is fabulous. I love your food. Thank you. Thank Tasting. You. I love the, the mustard seeds and the cumin seeds and what you was the other seed? Urad. The urad. See, that's just a very tiny bit that we added, but mm -hmm. you see the taste? Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. just the flavor is so rich. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Let's make our rice next. You want to read that recipe for us? Yes. The vegetable palau. It's rice and mixed vegetables. Two cups of basmati rice, six cloves, three cardamoms, one medium-sized cinnamon stick, one anastar whole, now that's optional, two bay leaves, half a cup of onions chopped, two to three green chilies chopped, four to six curry leaves, one teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, three-fourth cup frozen mixed vegetables, which are corn, peas, green beans, carrots, and lima beans, that's what we use. Quarter cup of cashew halves, one to two ounce oil. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Yes. Now, would you have rice three meals a day in India? Well, yes, no. in some parts. Okay. <laughs> some parts of India, really in the villages, they do have okay. three times, you know, but we do, even here too, I eat three, two meals. Two meals with rice here with rice. in the States, okay. Or else I feel like I'm fainting. <laughs> I have, I don't know, maybe it's just withdrawals. We're just so used mm -hmm. to eating rice. I'm from South India. Mm -hmm. South India rice, you know, mm. it's, it's so mass. So oh, yeah. I have such beautiful Indian dishes, like, you know, the oh, rice yes. dishes. Oh, yeah. The, the shot at the beginning when we saw it was beautiful. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I can't wait to try it. <laughs> this, is, this is rice palau. Mm -hmm. That means when you cook vegetables and rice together, it's called palau. Oh, 
Oh, so yeah. palau. Palau. Palau would be rice and vegetables together. Together, mm -hmm. cooked together, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So we, yeah, we can get started. I'll just okay. put oil here. In our pan. Is there a certain oil you usually use in Indian cooking? Well, I, I do use canola oil, okay. but if you want to use olive oil, there's particular types that you have to use because, you know, we heat up the oil, so certain olive oil is not good to heat them up, you know, such high temperatures. Right. So you have to, you know, do a little bit of research and see which is good for okay. Indian type of cooking. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. But this, this oil is perfect for okay. my type of cooking. Good. So now I'm just going to add all the spices here. We have cloves. Nice. Now these are the whole cloves again. Whole yeah. cloves. Cardamom. Mm -hmm. This is Anastar. Do you see that? I do, and it looks just like a star. Yes, it's beautiful. And just one little spice is so yeah, powerful that that's it's amazing. great. So there, and we'll okay. just put bay leaves, cardamom. And that was cinnamon sticks? Cinnamon no. sticks, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And some cashews here. Oh. Let me just put this low a little bit. It's too high. Okay. Nice. I like the cashews. Do you use a lot just, of cashews? Yeah. Oh. Just stir this, just stir it here, and put onions, nice. green chilies, mm -hmm. give it a little kick, yes. <laughs> curry leaves, So you saute them together for a while? Yes, I'm okay. just putting it down a little bit. You just saute it because you just want all the spices to kind of mix them together. Yes. Now, because I have onions here, what I do is I just put a little salt. That helps the onions to cook fast. Okay. Just a tiny bit, mm -hmm. you know. Just sprinkle a little bit and that will help to soften and yes. help the onions to cook a little faster. Mm -hmm. Nice. Can you smell it? I can. Oh, I wish you could smell at home what we smell here. It smells wonderful. Just all the Just spices. Spices, yes. And yes. they're good for us too, a lot of those spices. Yes. And now I'm just going to add a little bit. This is ginger garlic paste that I already have. Mm -hmm. Do you ever make your own or you just buy always it? Always my oh, you, own. Oh, you make your own? Always, always. Okay. Never do I buy it. I love to make my own spice. So is it equal parts, ginger garlic, or ginger how would garlic. you make it? Yes, equal parts. Equal parts, okay. So you just need to let it stir a little bit for the ginger and garlic. It'll take that raw taste away. And then you add your mixed vegetables. Oh, okay. And you keep stirring. You don't need to put the lid on, but you at least cook these mixed vegetables for about five minutes, four okay. to five minutes, and then you keep stirring them. The whole time, so you don't leave you them unattended. Yes, yes, you don't leave them unattended, but you okay. just, you know, you just need to stir them. I used frozen vegetables, mm -hmm. but it's up to, you know, whoever wants to, if you like fresh vegetables and you can cut up, you can use whatever vegetables that you like and fresh. And in India, believe me, they don't have frozen, so everybody uses fresh vegetables. Okay. okay. You know, it's just easy for me, so I just chose to right. do this. But, of course. You know, you have an option. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, but, but this is just delicious too. It tastes great. And, you know, whatever frozen you can still use. I just like the lima beans and the beans mm -hmm. and, you know, just the corn and just the combination of all this. Because mm -hmm. you make a lime, isn't a lima bean curry? Yeah, last yeah, time I last did. Time. I remember that. Yes. I still remember how good it tasted. Yes. It was fabulous. Everybody yeah. loved it. Believe me, I do it at church and people <laughs> just love it. And you, you know, you can just see that it's just, you know, as it's cooking, right. you can, you just make sure it's cooked a little bit, you right. know. And then when it's cooked for three to five minutes, we'll just pretend and go on. Now I'm going to put add rice to this. To oh, this. you add the rice to this, yes. not to here? Not, okay. not yet, not yet. We will add it. But, you know, I'm just going to add the rice here. Okay. This is the basmati rice. I love basmati that. rice is, you know, the staple traditional rice in India that, okay. that we use commonly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, me being from South India, we do a lot of rice dishes. Yes. We, you know, we love rice a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is recommended that actually um, carbohydrates like rice and whole grains, they should provide like 50 to 60 percent, mm -hmm. you know, of your total calorie, calories per day. 
Oh, yeah. okay. You know, coming from rice or whole grain, right. you okay. know, your total calories. Right. And not so much high processed refined foods that, yeah. you know, we would be prone to and eat. So I, basmati rice is what we typically use in India, but you're, you can try with brown rice, any rice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can just experiment I with like that. basmati rice. <laughs> but this is just a nice flavor. Nice. And how long normally would you, would you stir it? You with just the rice. with the rice, you just make sure it's all the spices and mm -hmm. and and everything is coated beautifully. Do you see this now? I do. I do you do. see this? All everything is just it's well melded together. Yes, you just have to make sure. Just for two to three minutes, you just make sure, and you don't want to burn it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but this here, I turned it off. I turned it off now. I'll put all, in your rice cooker here. Thank you. Now all we have to do is just transfer these ingredients into the rice cooker. Okay. This is just an easy way. I like to do it. If some people don't have access to a rice cooker, all you can do is cook it in a, in a you know, proper pan and then cook it on the stove top. Yes. You can okay. still do that. Mm -hmm. But to this, because it's two cups of rice, yes. we will add four cups of water. Okay. okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to put this in here. Are you okay there? Yes. Okay. This is nice. I love my rice cooker at home. It saves so much time. You oh. just put it in, it comes and, out perfect. And it comes out fluffy and yes. beautiful. Yes. You know, it's just, it doesn't stick together. <laughs> yeah. It's just <laughs> awesome. It I love rice cookers. It's easy to clean. You yes. Know? So put the water in on top. Yes. And then I'm just going to add oh. a little salt. Okay. We just need to make sure. Oh, it smells good because of all the spices. Now I just want to mix all these ingredients and make sure the salt is all well mixed here. Okay. Nice. And we can plug the lid on. The lid on. It's plugged in. And plugged in and you just turn it on. That's it. How there you go. And it just gets cooked <laughs> in about, you know, 20 minutes or so. It'll be all ready, and it's mm -hmm. really nice and fluffy, just perfect. Do you stop partway through and stir it again? Or well, not? maybe in about 10 minutes or so. Okay. Like when you see it kind of bubbling and boiling, you just take it, you just open it. Don't leave it out too long to steam, yeah. you know, all yeah. but you just mix it so that all That's the ingredients it. are beautifully mixed, and then you just close it back on. Done perfect. And voila, when it's done, it looks like this over here. Beautiful. I love that. Yeah. And I'm going to eat some. I'll dig in just to a little corner here and see what it tastes like. Put some on my plate. Mm-mm-mm. See all the it's flavors heavenly. just blended mm. in together. Mm. Now, if you wish to have more mm -hmm. vegetables, you can add more vegetables to mm -hmm. that. You know, it's it's up to you. It's optional. In the uh, Indian okay. dishes, there's no set set recipes. It's oh, just the water. It. It's just the water that you have to put exactly. If you put one cup, put mm -hmm. two cups of water, because you're frying the rice and doing all these things, right. so that will cook better. You know, right. when you add that much water. But you know, I if you want it. more vegetables, you can add more vegetables, more cashews. Oh. Oh, it's yummy. I love the cinnamon and the cloves and the anisar. Oh, that was good. See all these Indian herbs oh. and spices. Yeah, you know? this is fabulous. You have <laughs> got to try this at home. It's really good. Let's go to our next recipe. The cauliflower and potato curry. We're going to put the curry with the rice. One small head of cauliflower, one to two teaspoons Madras curry powder, one half teaspoon turmeric powder, two to three potatoes peeled and cut into one and a half inch pieces, one to two chopped tomatoes, one and a half cup chopped onions, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste, eight to 10 curry leaves, one quarter cup chopped cilantro, one teaspoon coriander and cumin seed powder, which is optional, two tablespoons oil, and one to two green chilies chopped. This is wonderful. You would mix, would you have the curry like as a side dish with the rice or well, you actually, together? together? Together. We mix rice and curry together. Okay. It's never on the side. It has to be mm -hmm. blended in with the rice. Oh, nice. So, yes. the, I mean, the rice had fabulous flavor, but can you imagine with the curry added to it? That would be really incredible. Yes, this, this curry cauliflower and, you know, yeah. just potatoes is excellent. Oof, oof. Yeah. We can get started with the oil. All right. We got the fire on. Check and see here. <laughs> okay, we'll have that on high. Is that high? 
that's high. Okay, yeah. great. That's as high as it so goes. We can, so we can get it. We can get started early. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, this is um, potatoes and cauliflower. Cauliflower is a cruciferous vegetable. You know, maybe other examples I can give you are like kale, mm -hmm. broccoli, mm -hmm. uh, turnips, Brussels mm -hmm. sprouts, and these are very healthy. You yes. know, it just lowers your risk of cancers. Mm. Certain, certain type of cancers like lung cancer, colon. Okay. and prostate cancer. It's excellent. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. Yes. So eat your crociferous vegetables. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that's, they, they're very, very healthy. I'm just waiting for that to get a little hot now. We'll, yes, go ahead. I was going to ask, you always use the, the red onions. Do you like the purple onions yeah. best? Yeah. Is that normal in all Indian We don't or? use sweet onions, like those white. Okay. The, the Swedish taste just doesn't go. Okay. You know, With the so, cooking. Yes. The red one, it's hot. And so you always want the red in Indian cooking. Yes. Okay. And so, did you see we put a little bit more? I did. Yes. <laughs> Onions for this because this is curry. Yes. And I put um, chilies. Yeah. Curry leaves. Now, I love those curry leaves. Yes. I, and I told you every time I bring curry leaves from my backyard. Yeah. <laughs> It's incredible. And you know, I've gotten so many calls from people like all that watch. Right. And they had so many questions about curry leaves. Yes. Um, somebody asked me and said, can I just use curry leaves instead of curry powder? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I said, I don't think so because this is just a flavor. Right. You know, curry powder is entirely different. Right. And and a lot of people wanted um, curry leaf tree you know this just the plant right. and they asked me and i said well you know any of your viewers if they want they can come to tampa and i'll give it for free <laughs> i have that's an invitation we can't pass up i have so many plants anybody if they're visiting tampa please do come stop by and i'll i'll, I'll give it i have plenty oh that's very nice yes just for free they don't have to buy anything but i don't know where they can purchase right okay and I just added a little salt just so that Maybe the, the onions will tenderize. An Asian market? Would an Asian market have curry leaves or not? Yes, leaves are there, but I'm talking about a plant. The plant, as far yes. as planting it yourself and growing. Because I like to plant the herbs in my herb garden, and you just have them fresh, and it makes yes. a difference. Yeah. Yes, and my friend came, and I, and I gave several people already plants, mm -hmm. and they have it in their yard growing. That's not <laughs> Now we'll just pretend that these are all ready, okay. but you have to saute them just for Normally a little bit, five minutes like or so. you know, just light brown color, okay. you know. Okay. And now, now we'll just pretend that that's that's done. Yeah. We can just put, you know, ginger and garlic. Yes, and that's that paste you make yourself. Yes, I make it myself. I like it because, you know, it's nothing like fresh, fresh. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love fresh. You can just add the turmeric. And then your chili powder. I'll try to cut down on the chili yeah. powder. A little bit. <laughs> this is this is from India, India. This is oh. you know, chili powder that I brought from India, homemade. Mm -hmm. So you can't get any more authentic than that. That's right. <laughs> so here we're adding the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Now are these potatoes already cooked or are they raw? Oh no, they're not cooked. Okay, so everything's raw at this point. Yes. Yeah. I'm just adding a little water. Mm -hmm. That will help. Yeah. The potatoes to cook. Mm -hmm. um, Would you put the lid on and cook yes, them? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we don't add the cauliflower or any of this yet. You would just put the lid on this and cook yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay. You know, just 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 put the lid on okay. and probably cook it for five minutes or so. We just let that cook. Right. And then the you know, next step would be adding the tomatoes. Okay. And then, then let also the tomatoes kind of like a paste you know nice. because it will cook really f you, you want know, it to cook down cook down a little bit right. and then the cauliflower cooks very fast you don't want it to add so you know if you add it before the potatoes and all right. it'll just mash everything and it, right. you know it really won't you know be like a cauliflower right, right there you know what i mean right so that's why i prefer to add them just a little bit after Okay, you know, so the we cook the potatoes for this five minutes or whatever. Then when we'll pretend our five minutes is done, then we would add the tomatoes. Yes. And then the cauliflower comes at the end. Exactly. I got it. Yeah. See now, I'll just put the tomatoes and then just let that cook too. Just, just kind of mix it. Okay. And you'd put the lid on again and let that cook down a while? Yes. Okay. And if, if you put the lid down, you can tell the difference because it really cooks evenly. Yes. You know, just, just everything is cooked together mm -hmm. so well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, see, 
I mean, it didn't take very long for us to just to prepare the vegetables mm -hmm. and you know, but, but they're all fresh. If you can see my cauliflower and that. tomatoes are fresh. I yeah. don't use them from the can. Right. There is a difference in the taste. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I would, I really love home cooked meals. Oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people say they don't have time to cook and prepare at home. If you have time to drive to a restaurant <laughs> and order wait. your food and wait and wait for the food to come to your table chances are you have, you have time, time to, to cook, cook. Mm -hmm. you know so it, it doesn't take long if we can just discipline ourselves to right. do the vegetables it's just wonderful right. and so healthy and nutritious they're fresh and you know what this stays you, you can keep this cook it and it stays for you know it's wonderful for the rest of the week Should we add this next no 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 Please this this back. this this for no 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 this one okay now, add the cauliflower. Add the cauliflower, and now we add the. See, because the water is almost gone. Do you see that yes, there's no gravy? Mm -hmm. See, there's no gravy. So this will actually. This probably I just put like half a cup. Uh -huh. It can. It, we can easily do one cup. So you would add a little bit more. Absolutely. Okay. You know, and now see, you just let it cook. Cook it <coughs> down. You just make sure you mix. At this time, you also make sure. You put enough salt. Okay. And so then add you some put more salt. salt because now you added more vegetables. Correct. You know, so, so, so you, so you need just more seasoning. Have, right. Mm -hmm. Now, you just added the cauliflower, so you, you wouldn't add this mas this right away. Okay. You know, you would just cover it. But I'm just telling you for the sake of telling. We we'll just right. pretend that okay. you know this is already cooked for another five to ten minutes. So it's all in steps. Put the lid on. Cook yes. it five to ten minutes. Put the next one in five to ten minutes with the lid. Okay. Yeah. Got everything it. is in the directions. Okay. You know, and then if it's not cooked, you just you just see it, and right. then you, you just make tell. sure, yeah, and then that it's cooked. And then when it's cooking, about five to ten minutes, then you add it. This is the cumin powder. This is not the seeds now. Yeah. Yes. I powdered okay. this at home. I made okay. my own powder. Oh, nice. Yes, you put it in the coffee grinder. That's really You know, really just grind fresh. and make your own spices. I do my own spices. Oh, and this is the more. coriander. Yeah. You ground your own coriander? Coriander too? seeds. Seed. This is yeah. the seeds mm -hmm. that I, I did the powder. Nice. Now you add that. And you can also add the cilantro. Okay. Now cilantro, what would you see after all these spices also? You let it cook for two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. And then maybe just two minutes or three minutes before you take it off the stove. Okay. Then you add the cilantro. Okay, so that's at the very end. Very end. Yeah. Because the flavor is so beautiful. I love cilantro. And, mm -hmm. and it's just great to taste. Mm -hmm. There you go. And we have one that's all finished over here, and this one's all cooked properly. Yes. <laughs> it looks beautiful, and I'm going to take a piece out of it here. Mm -mm -mm. I Try love the it. cauliflower too. Yeah, I gotta get, get the cauliflower. I just got potatoes there and some of the broth. Okay, let's try this and see. Mmm. 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 It's wonderful. See, Ooh, all, delicious. Everything, when everything I blends. Love that. Yeah, all the spices are just mm -hmm. beautifully cooked together. Ooh. Yeah, the spices is wonderful. It's got a good kick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, this is a non-Indian speaking. It's got a good kick. Yeah, but it's good. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Let's go to our next recipe. You want to read that for the spicy spinach yes. and tofu? Sure. Spicy spinach and tofu. Two packs of chopped regular spinach, one firm tofu pack that's cut in one and a half inch cubes, one and a half cup chopped onions, two green chilies chopped, one to two tomatoes chopped, quarter teaspoon turmeric, five to six curry leaves, half teaspoon ginger garlic, one teaspoon Madras curry powder, half a can coconut milk, and two tablespoons oil. Now, Padma, in, in India, would you eat this with the rice and curry as a side dish, or how would you do that? Yes, it's, it's like a side dish, but you eat it with the rice in, you know, we're south, so we eat it with rice and north, they eat it with roti. It's a form of bread, Indian oh, bread. They okay. eat it with that. So everything is either eaten with rice or roti. Okay. Now roti, is that like a flatbread? Yes. A flatbread. Okay. Yes. Good. So yes. let's see what we're doing here. Okay. I'll just put some oil here. So all dishes start with a frying pan and a little bit of oil. Yes. <laughs> and you can, you can kind of basically tell. You know what I mean? The yeah. onions and chilies and, right. you know, <laughs> it's the same thing that we use for all different yeah. curries. If you know, basically, you can just figure it out very easily. I have some onions there. Yeah. Green chilies. This is the same 
thing we followed with the cauliflower. It is. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, there's our curry leaves. And just remember to add just a little salt to the onion so that... That helps them cook faster, cook you said? Fast. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's amazing. Yes. You just always have to let it light brown. We'll just pretend. Yes. yes. That you would it. normally put the lid on for this or not this point? Yeah, we could. You, you know, just, okay. just for it to get light brown, just for a couple of minutes or so. You don't have to. Right. You don't have to, okay. but you can, you can always do that. Okay. But we'll just pretend that that's light brown yeah. <laughs> in, in color. And then we'll just add a little ginger and garlic paste. Mm -hmm. How long does the ginger garlic paste keep in the fridge? Like oh, if you were to make it? A week. Okay. Sometimes a little bit more. Actually, if you add olive oil and blend it, it'll stay more than that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just put a little garlic. Yep. There you go. Put the curry powder. Put turmeric. Now, there you go. Just stir it for a couple of minutes. Okay. And then we add the tomato. And then the tomatoes. Okay. And here again, the tomatoes are going to cook down, like kind of making a paste like before? Yes. Okay. You know? And, and what we would do is normally, maybe we would just put the, put the lid on, yeah. you know, just because that will help it to cook evenly and fast. Oh, yeah. And, and it, it, you know, cooks. And you don't lose as much moisture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. We pretend it's cooked down. Yes. <laughs> then we add the spinach. This is fresh spinach, as you can see. Yes. Spinach is very high in calcium mm -hmm. and iron and extremely nutritious. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. All your the green leafy vegetables are really healthy and good for yes. you to eat with that. Yeah. So you kind of stir it till it cooks down a bit, then you Cook can add some more. So we can add yeah. some more. But I just wanted to add because I have tofu too yes. over there that I usually put it all together. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Now I'm just going to close this one because it will really help it. Right. Is this on high? It'll start to wilt. Yes, it'll, it'll start. Yeah, it's on high. Yeah, I can see the burner there. Wonderful. Now, we're just making a really delightful combination here. If you can see spinach, which is yes. so high in, you know, calcium and iron, all these good nutrients, and tofu, which is also very high in protein, mm -hmm. zero fat, really very Ooh. little fat. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not much fat, very low in carbohydrates, mm -hmm. but then very high in protein. Okay. You know, so this is great when we're combining this with this, so you can see the nutrition. And, and this is water-packed tofu? This is, uh, yeah, that the firm... The firm, firm, and it comes in the water, you drain yes. the water off and cut and it. And then cut okay. it into just those cubes yeah. like that, so okay. that it'll be easy for us to just to cook yeah. with this. In India, they, they do it in a little different style. They kind of blend, you know, and mm. then mix it with that. But I like to feel my... The chunks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, a lot, not, not, not that, but they blend the, the paste. Oh, the they spinach. make spinach. But I like, oh, I like the I consistency of that, Yes. you know, spinach, so. So normally it would cook down more. Yeah. Right. You and know. then you would add the tofu or then you add the coconut milk? We'll, we'll add the tofu and the coconut milk. But see, just make sure that when this cooks, just make it into like a paste-like consistency. Okay. You know, I prefer, before we add, before we add the tofu, mm -hmm. at home, yeah. I'm just telling our viewers to make right. sure it's like a it paste. It cooks longer. Cooks, mm -hmm. yes. And then also the tomatoes. Make sure you just kind of mash them up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good to know. Yes. And then we put the tofu in. There you go. And then you add in the coconut milk. All of it? There you go. Okay. There you go. And you just mix in all the ingredients. This gives it a nice, rich, creamy taste, the coconut nice. milk. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love coconut. Coconut milk. You know, mm. coconut has, you know, they're finding out all the good benefits. Yes. <laughs> so you just mix it. Make sure there's enough salt. Yep. We added more veggies, so then you would add more salt. And then we have one that's fine, finalized over here. I love That's really cooked down. You can see that. See. Now you can see. Do you yes. see any tomatoes there? I don't. Mm -mm. You don't see any tomatoes, yeah. and even the spinach is really it's beautifully really cooked. cooked down. Yes, it is. I'm gonna see if I can sneak a little bit out of this. Yes, I'll get one tofu chunk. <laughs> it looks wonderful. And normally you would mix this with the rice. Rice. Yeah. Or bread. Mmm. Mmm. You see all the flavor just mm. go into mm. the tofu, and you can really see. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got to try this at home. That tastes fabulous. I love that. Very, very tasty. I love the seasonings and the herbs and the spices. That is good. Let's read our next recipe for the cabbage and mung dal. Okay. Step one, two cups of shredded cabbage, one cup mung dal, which is split uh, mung beans, three to four green chilies chopped, half a teaspoon turmeric and salt to taste. Step two, quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, one to two red chilies, four to six curry leaves, one to two cloves of garlic chopped or grated, two tablespoons oil, quarter cup chopped cilantro and salt to taste. Yummy. I like that very much. Yes. Did you ever hear the combination of broccoli and, I mean, sorry, cabbage with the uh, split? Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is common though? You do that a lot? Oh. All the time? A lot. Okay. I've done this several times for church. Oh, nice. Yes. Everybody loves it. Nice. So I have water already boiling here. Two cups. We have, this is one cup of mung dal. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add. And to that, I will add green chilies. Yep, we got to have our green chilies. Yes. <laughs> There's no cur Madras curry powder here. Okay. So this is all that the, it will add the flavor to it. Turmeric. Yeah. Little salt taste. And typically, I would let that cook a little bit. Okay. You know, we, we close the lid and okay. usually let it cook a little bit. Okay. And then we add the, you know, cabbage to it. Got you, you. You know what I mean? I do. But remember now, the cabbage is also cruciferous. Cruciferous. Yes. Yes. And these are very, very, very good. They're really nutritious. You know, they lower the risk of cancers. Mm, that's yes. wonderful. And I'm just going to add okay. the cabbage. Normally, you would cook it five minutes, Padma, or more like 10 or 15? Well, you know, kind of 10 minutes, like half cooked. Okay. Of the, you know, the of mung the beans, dal. yes. And you, you know, the cooked mung beans, one cup provides 21 grams of protein Ooh. and 51 grams of carbohydrate. That's good. Yes, and zero grams of fat. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> so now to this, actually, I would, you know, add a little bit more water. You know what I mean? You want me to get you a little bit? Right. No, that's okay. That's okay. We're just we're just showing. I'm All just right. showing you the steps anyway, and then we have to add some salt here. Yep. And let that cook down. Mm -hmm. um, can we turn this? We can one? absolutely. It's right here. This one. Uh -huh. And when it cooks down, it looks like this. I'll just put it on low. When, yes, when this cooks down. Now it depends whatever consistency you want. You can add a little bit of water and it'll be a little bit gravy. Uh, you know, some people nice like it very, th yes, mm -hmm. they like it thick a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is the consistency. Now this is step two. Okay. That was step one. This is step two. Yes. Okay. Step two, we're going to saute. Good. Whatever is being cooked here, mm -hmm. you know, these contents, we're going to just put. Good. So I'm just going to add oil. I love the yellow color in the turmeric, and turmeric's really good for you. Yes, actually, I have to tell you, turmeric is just amazing health benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, um, they said it's a great anti-inflammatory. They're using it for the treatment of arthritis. Wow. Yes, it's a That's natural good. antiseptic. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's. I mean, it has so many, so many health benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, it's also used like a painkiller, natural painkiller. Wow. You know, yeah. and um, you know this the. The, it's called curcumin. Okay. It's a chemical in the turmeric. Uh -huh. You know, the root itself. You know how you have the ginger root? Mm -hmm. The turmeric is a root too. Okay. It's a rhizome. It's, okay. Yes, it's okay. a root. They dry it and make it powder. Okay. Yeah. Now, that chemical, which is curcumin, mm -hmm. it's a yellow pigment. Mm -hmm. The scientists are actually look, you know, taking a really close look at it and, and studying it. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because they, it's a tool. They think this is a tool to fight. Alzheimer's wow. disease. And actually in India, Alzheimer's is four times less than here than in the US. United States. That's yeah. incredible. But you can see so how much turmeric. <laughs> no, but you know how much turmeric I eat every right. day. Right. Every day you're putting it in all the different dishes. All right, let's go here. Here. The same. You These know, are seeds. seeds. They're popping already. Yes. So let's do it fast. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, we better, we better we'll reduce. Turn it down a little yeah. bit.
we can that's pretty low there and that's the garlic instead of the ginger garlic paste yes because now this is for you know just just this is the split piece that we're using and I'll yeah. just put some cilantro sure. and then you want this this is step one all cooked down here right And you can add a little water to this. Would you like some? Yeah, a little bit. So it won't be so thick, you know. You want more? Or no, is that that, good? that's great. That's yeah. great. Perfect. There you go. And it's, it's all ready to wow. If you rice or your roti or bread or whatever you want to eat it with, try it a little bit. And we got some done over here. I see that. It looks beautiful. Just try it. This right. is a great combination. Now, you would mix this in with your rice, right? Yes. Okay. Or even bread, too. Same principle. I'm going to just take some off the side here. Mmm. See that? Mm. And you know how high in protein? Mm. I told you it's 21 grams mm -mm -mm. of protein here. This is mm -hmm. the mung beans, just very high quality protein. Oh yeah, the taste is fabulous. Let's make our last, this was a breakfast food with that crema, Indian crema wheat breakfast. You call it? Upma. Upma. One cup crema wheat, two cups water, two tablespoons oil, quarter cup chopped onions, two to three green chilies, quarter teaspoon mustard seeds, quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon urid dal, one teaspoon grated ginger, four to five curry leaves, and ten cashew halves. And this is a special cream of wheat for breakfast. Yes. I love that. Did you ever see, I um, mean, cream of wheat being prepared with so many spices? No. <laughs> <laughs> I never did. Let's see, what do we do here? Well, I already have the oil here. It's Good. nice and hot. So first, we follow mustard. Yep, the seeds. Cumin. They're going to pop. Urad. There. Curry. And that. Let me turn it down a little yeah. bit? Yes, yes. Just a little bit, and okay. you know, you just fry it just for a minute or so. And then you add your red onion. Yes. Always remember to add just a little salt to your onions. Okay. And here's your green chilies. We, we usually let this cook for, you know, light brown color, but I'm just going ahead and adding a little this is only no garlic here this is oh, just ginger just yeah. ginger just grated ginger, ginger. grated ginger mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. okay and now at this time if you like to add mixed vegetables oh. you can make it even much more healthier yeah i just made the basic of my it's just basic which i'm just showing but you can you know add more, add, add more absolutely mm -hmm. and okay now this is water. Mm -hmm. Two cups of water. If you can increase the heat too. Yeah, high. we can increase the heat. And you want it to boil them before yes. you add the yes. cream of wheat. Yes. Nice, okay. And yeah. breakfast is an important meal, isn't it? It's such an important meal, I'm telling you. It just keeps you, you know, body fueled for hours if you have a healthy breakfast in the morning. You know, you keep, keeps your mind sharp. You know, just your production output is just, just great if you eat a healthy breakfast. Breakfast That's is so important. <laughs> yes, and, and in India we have so many varieties and different kinds. Right. But we make it with cream of wheat, which is just so healthy. You said upma? Upma. Upma. Yeah. I like that. Upma. Basic upma, but you will see the flavor. It just yes. tastes really delicious. That's now so once good. this starts boiling, mm -hmm. you know, but it has to boil. That's and important. You, uh, yes, and then I'll add the cream of wheat, mm -hmm. and I have to keep stirring as I do that so the lumps don't form <laughs> immediately. You <laughs> yes. know what I'm saying? So I do. Just mm -hmm. as it's boiling, we just need to do that. It's just Ready coming to, to a boil, yeah. And then how long would it cook? Just two to three minutes. Okay. It's all done. Nice. You know, because you already did your vegetables mm, with right. the onions, if you do like to add vegetables right. at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, but then cream of wheat itself, it cooks very fast. Nice. This is just two minutes. And while she adds it here, we want to show you, you can look at the final product as well and get an idea of what that looks like. It looks wonderful. I love that. And I'm going to try some too. You can see the little cashews at the top. Yes. And I just keep on stirring it. Yeah. And then I see you're just adding it over here and just stirring as yes. you add. Yes. Perfect. We're going to try. Mmm. 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 -hmm. 
My mouth is full. <laughs> it's really good, pod milk. Yes, mm. it tastes delicious. Mm. And see, see, see how the consistency just changes. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of slow it down. Okay, I can see it's thickening already. Yes, yeah. and so you, you just you put the lid and then just cook it down. Mm -hmm. You know, for just a couple of minutes, it's all done. I Breakfast is ready. I love that. The taste is fabulous in that. I like all your cooking, but. The Lord has given you a gift. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, and you have to make it a little palatable and delicious when you eat, mm -hmm. you know, and just we like to add a little bit of these spices. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, absolutely. just a little bit of Indian spice makes it does. a lot of difference. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it was fun. We had such a good time here today wearing our saris. Yes, and <laughs> learning, you look so fabulous. I love it. <laughs> learning about our wonderful Indian cooking here. If you would like to contact Padma for yourself, Maybe you're interested in her music. Maybe you're interested in her Indian cooking. I know she has lots of information on her website. Yes. I know she's available for cooking schools. So any of those things, if you are interested, here is the way that you can contact Padma for yourself. If you would like to contact Padma Jha, then you can write to Padma Jha Madidi, Post Office Box 48763, Tampa, Florida, 33646-8763. That's Padma Jamadidi, Post Office Box 48763, Tampa, Florida, 33646-8763. You can call 813-325-5783. That's 813-325-5783. You can also visit her website at sweetsoothingmusic.com. It's all one word, sweetsoothingmusic.com. Call or write to her today. She'd love to hear from you. Hello, I'm Tom Mann. Have you ever wondered what it takes to keep 3ABN's message fresh and up to date? We're working constantly on new programs for an ever-growing audience around the world. But how is that accomplished? After working many years in television and radio, I've realized how unusual it is for 3ABN to produce such a large percentage of original quality programming. Most Christian networks use a large number of programs produced by other ministries, and unfortunately, they have little or no control over the content. But we've been called to give a consistent message, and we do not allow the focus to become entertainment or performance-oriented. The clear vision given to Danny Shelton, our founder, was to build a television station that would reach the world with the undiluted Three Angels messages, one that would counteract the counterfeits. And that's what we strive for. We just don't provide family-friendly programming. If it's not squarely based on the Bible, our pledge to you is that it will not appear on any of our networks. When it comes to original programming, we produce 69% of our 3ABN English television content, 67% of our 3ABN Latino content, and 100% of what our Russian language channel airs. Without the Lord and all of you, that would be impossible. But we're continuously blessed with the finest teachers, preachers, health presenters, and guests day after day and year after year. So many people work together to make a television program. Producers, directors, camera operators, studio managers, lighting and audiovisual directors and video engineers, just to mention a few. But we never forget that the message is the most important part of the equation and bringing the hope of salvation to those who haven't heard about Jesus Christ. We have only one solution, a relationship with our Savior. And whether it's a story of a changed life or a program specifically for children, we want to bring honor and glory to Him each and every minute of every day. And with six networks airing 168 hours of programming each week, that's a total of 1,008 hours. How can we do this with such a small staff? The answer is simple. The Lord makes it possible, and He uses you to help. From the beginning, your prayers and financial support have made it all possible. And 25 years later, our message is still strong. So thank you for all you do for 3ABN. Your prayers are felt each day, both at our ministry headquarters and all around the world. If the Holy Spirit impresses you to support 3ABN's worldwide ministry, please send your tax-deductible love gifts to 3ABN, Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896, or call us at 618-627-4651 during regular business hours. God bless you.
Welcome back, friends. We're here with our delicious spread of Indian cuisine, aren't we, Padma? Yes. <laughs> oh, we had a wonderful time, and the food is fabulous. Let's look at what we made here today. We started with mung bean. Yes, mung it was, beans. It was wonderful. Yes, did you like the flavors? I did. Oh, yeah. And that rice, oof. Rice palau. Palau. Yes. Rice palau. Rice and vegetables. Mixed vegetables. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And this is the potato and curry? Potato and cauliflower. Cauliflower curry to mix with the rice. I love yes. that. And the next after that? A spicy spinach. Spinach and, and tofu. tofu. And that yes. you could mix with the rice as well. Or the yeah. bread, you said. Yes. Uh -huh. You can eat it either or. And then mung um, beans nice. and cabbage. Nice. And that was good. Just good yeah. flavor. Nice and creamy. I yeah. liked it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we finished with the nice Indian Our breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. With all these spices. Yes, that's incredible. So thank you so much for coming. Oh, I had such a wonderful time. We had a good time, and we always love when she comes up from Florida and brings all that yummy food that we get to eat. That's <laughs> a joy. <laughs> we know sometimes we write down the recipes really fast, and we say them, and sometimes I know you can't always get them. You can always go to our website, www.3abn.org, and you can download the recipes and see the pictures at any time. Also, you can go to Padma's website, yes, right? Yes, and I have, have all the recipes okay. of all the shows that I've done here at 3 of you. Okay. okay, good. So she's got lots of information there, too. So we had a wonderful time. We hope that you enjoy these recipes as much as we did preparing them for you here. Take these recipes to your home and to your heart. Um, share them with your friends and your family. Know that we love you here at 3ABN and that we pray for you. And we're going to go out with a special Indian greeting. Namaste. 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 <laughs>